If I lost all my memory, what would be the first thing you'd tell me about us? Hmm. Um. I tell you that we're best friends. <laughs> and we met very young, which is kind of scary. <laughs> but that we've been um, creating a very, very good life for each other. We're going to cry. I'm ready. It's over. No. <laughs> I didn't think we would, but. What was your first impression of me, and how has that changed over time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my first impression of you as a 19-year-old, or no, like, <laughs> how old was I when we met? I was 20. You were 21. You had just turned 21. I had just turned 21. And I was still 20. I was a complete jerk. Um, I remember you were very like interested in me and kind to me the person that was around at that time um was like oh they're being like clingy or they're being creepy or they're like oh that's so weird that like da 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 and they were feeding into this like narrative that you were like too much even though you were just being nice mm -hmm. um and so I like labeled you as like like a creepy obsessed crush mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and then i was like oh when we talked i was like oh that's not what's happening at all i just didn't pick very good friends mm -hmm. <laughs> um mm -hmm. and now i think of you as um a very loving wonderful creepy crush um very soft gentle um <laughs> silly loving um, and then I let go of the people that were making me not very nice and I realized that I am very nice and that I liked you a lot mm -hmm. and now we're moving and grooving through life it's true being in love what is one experience you wish you never had and why oh I know my answer I was going to say, like, the first month of our relationship, <laughs> but... <laughs> I wish I just, like, never met you. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the first month, actually, pre-relationship. First month we met. Yes. Because we knew each other. I'm like, that I wasn't a great time. It was not a great time. Still so sorry. But also, I feel like that was... We got a lot of the way, almost. We did like every every conflict or issue for like the first ten years came out in the first month, and so we've just been cruising ever since. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have said that, I, but <laughs> <laughs> but I do feel like we got a lot. We learned a lot about each other very quickly, very quickly, and you also kind of changed really quickly, but like very quickly. And not that I was like I'm going to change her, but you were you changed. I did pretty quick because you realized that the I think the life that you were some parts of the life that you were living weren't working for you mm -hmm. um, and they were getting in the way of like a potentially good relationship um so I don't know if I like wish it never happened though it still was a part of our foundation and though it wasn't a great piece it still built us yeah and you know when have you seen me the most vulnerable, and what did it teach you about loving me? Dang, that's quite a question. Vulnerable. What a question. Um, I think. I think I've seen you most vulnerable when you're uh, really anxious and you're so overwhelmed and worried about something that that 
either I don't think kind of calls for that reaction or it's something beyond our control. Mm -hmm. um, I think it taught me that you just kind of have to like walk yourself through it. That I can be there, but I can't really help you. And if I try to help you too much, I make it worse. Um, so like if you're really anxious or sad and I'm trying to be like, everything's okay. And I'll start like being bubbly. You're like, shut up. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I get really mad. You get super <laughs> mad at me, but I'm trying to like, that's how I know how to, how to fix things is to be very like fun and exciting and change the mood. And that doesn't work for you. Like I have to, I have to meet you on your level and then help you get up instead of being at the level and hoping you come up to me. And that took me a while to figure out. You're very in, in your head and you have to work through your stuff and I can be a support, but I can't be the narrator. Yeah. Dang. I know. That's pretty good. Clip it. Do you want to be the therapist? <laughs> I want to be the therapist now. <laughs> um, oh. What is the pain in me you wish you could heal and why? Um, I think the thing that always gets me the most is how much you were bullied, like, growing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that, like, really hurts for, I mean, it hurts me, obviously, but I'm like, that obviously stayed with you, even if you try to avoid it. <laughs> It made you, like, not as confident in yourself, and it made you, like, second-guess how you look all the time. You can keep going. I'm chilling. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I just wish... I don't know. Part of me was, like, I wish I would have been there. Because I'm, like, you... You got a little bit more confident when we started dating, I think. Mm hmm For sure. I don't know if we would have been friends in middle school, though. I know you Probably think we not. would have, but I was scary. I wore all black and had, like, the seam bangs. <laughs> Listen to that death metal volume 10. I don't know. I'd like to think we would have been. I'd like to think we would have been in love, but maybe not. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you would have been like, oh, that's a demon. <laughs> but, yeah. I really wish I could have, uh, I could fix all that. Yeah. Oh, well. What do you think I need to hear most from you and why? That it's fine. Oh, wow, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> Our way here, <laughs> being anxious about, like, being a couple minutes late. And <laughs> I thought you were going to throw up. Yeah. yeah. It's, I, I think everything is going to be fine. And not in like a toxic, optimistic way. Like, there's some things we can't control. We couldn't control running late today. Mm -hmm. Unless we like somehow had a premonition and left way earlier. Mm -hmm. But we left with extra time and stuff happened and we still ended up late. But I mean, we're here and it's fine. Yeah, I just feel like you are, you're so conscientious of everything and everyone all the time and how their feeling and how you play a role in that and how for certain people it's like your job to make sure that you're making them happy mm -hmm. and I think that makes everything so stressful and so anxious for you I I feel like you think of everything's gonna fall apart yeah and it it hasn't <laughs> like there's worse <laughs> things than like almost being late that's happened to us and we're still fine yeah so yeah that's gonna be fine if this <laughs> is our last conversation what would you never want me to forget oh where'd you go why is it our last <laughs> what happened <laughs> where's my missing person folder <laughs> oh yeah um what would i never want you to forget Um, I think all the good things that this relationship taught you, mm -hmm. you know, 
if for some reason we're not together anymore for some reason. I just leave, I guess. Yeah, or, or I just die? leave or die. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh. Um, yeah, just like all the good things that you learned. Thanks. Even if, like, the relationship doesn't continue. Like, you learned whatever. Yeah. Things that made you a better person. Yeah, definitely don't regress into the person that I first oh. <laughs> met you as. <laughs> 21 Not that you were the worst, but... I you think I was. Weren't the nicest. <laughs> Rest in peace. Maybe just keep being nice to people. Yeah, keep being nice. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Why do you love me? Oh. Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> she's kick. She's she's exiting. Eagle okay. One has landed. I <laughs> It's okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sure we've got time. Me too. But probably not. I don't know how to express how much I love you or why I love you. Mm -hmm. I think I love you because you've given me so many new experiences mm -hmm. and you really helped me be my best self because I wasn't for a long time. And I love you because I get to make you gluten-free bread and I get to um, like just exist with you. Mm -hmm. Make loving you very easy, very fun. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> You're so cute. Shut up, man. I love you too. Thank, thank you for coming thank out tonight. It was so wonderful to have you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you too. Brutal. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Do you want to have more intimate conversations with your partner, but they're reluctant to join you? Do you sense that there's a more fulfilling connection that you can build, but you don't quite know how to do it? I'm proud to share with you 12 Questions for Love. It's a toolkit, it's a roadmap, so that you can deepen the relationships in your life. In this book, you'll learn how to create the physical and emotional space so that you can have a transformative conversation. 12 Questions for Love a guide to intimate conversations and deeper relationships.